That was holy shit. I know. That was the craziest paddle out I've ever done. Holy shit. It's a great day to be a kook. Welcome to Nonstop Surf. If you can make it here, you can make it out past the break. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I love this. This is great. <laughs> We're starting off right. Hey, welcome to Nonstop Surf. My name's Tyler. I am a beginner surfer, getting better and better every day, hopefully. And I am here to share a video with you about some growth that I had recently. I'm sharing this video with you because of a couple things. Recently, there's been a swell hitting Southern California. That's like the biggest swell in the past 15 years. The waves have been freaking insane. I went to El Porto and saw these like 15 foot waves that were just nasty. It was awesome, but I still wanted to surf. And I was like, okay, where can I surf where it's not too big? Santa Monica said it was gonna be about like three or four feet. So I said, okay, I can handle three or four feet. That's not too bad. So me and my friends, we went to Bay Street and we went out there and I went, oh shit, it's bigger than I thought. It was definitely like, I don't know, four to six feet, uh, definitely overhead. I saw a few people catch some waves that were well overhead. And I was like, I don't think I can handle this. When it was summertime and I was still learning to surf, there was this swell that hit California called the Code Red Swell. And I went out to the beach. The waves were probably four to six, maybe five to seven feet. And I thought, well, maybe I could paddle out, catch some small ones. Um, I paddled out when it was mellow and then I got caught inside. It was terrifying and traumatizing and it made me very scared of the water um, i've been surfing small waves since then because there really hasn't been anything that big and this came along and i thought you know what maybe i should try this so uh, the storm conditions plus the size and everything else really really intimidated me it took me a few tries to get out there and i want to share with you just this little like experience that i had captured on my gopro right this is me really like growing and getting over my fear which i think is really really important because when you surf, so much of your decisions are based on your mindset. And if you have the mindset of you're scared, you're not gonna make good decisions. You're gonna make the safer decision instead of the decision that helps you grow. I wanna show you this. I'm gonna give you some commentary on it, but really my channel is focused on advancing as a surfer and having a good time, having a lot of fun, obviously. Uh, there's a lot of you know other things that happen along the way, but this is the focus. I really wanna show you my progression as a surfer and get you inspired to go do it. So let's watch this video. I'll give you some comments as I go through it and uh, watch till the end because you'll see my mindset change and evolve right before your eyes. So enjoy and like, comment, subscribe and all that other stuff. All right, thanks. Okay, video's about to start. Here we go. <laughs> That's not my fault. We're worth it. Okay, so my friends Oak and Natalie came back to the beach to just like, you know, get me hyped up and ready to go out. And uh, here we are just kind of okay. talking. <laughs> Natalie's very reassuring. <laughs> I do have to say it was nice having two friends uh, because, you know, there's one on either side of you. Uh, it was really helpful. I cannot thank them enough for helping me get out here. And uh, it really mellowed out at this point. So it was much more mellow than it was before, but it was still pretty big. So you can see these are a little bigger than what I'm used to. But I'm doing fine. And because I got a foam board, I can't really duck dive super well. So I just had to push through it. That was my other issue. I learned a trick that if you're scared, just laugh or yell woo and it helps you. 
I I do that when I'm scared sometimes. Oh, oh my god. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Why is Oak back there? I know. He's like actually just <laughs> oh, I don't want further. And I figured, you know what, let's just be a little extra cautious. That's how I am. I'm a little extra cautious, so I figured let's go a little further, just in case any big waves come. I know! Glad I paddled early. My biggest fear, which I'll talk about later, is being exhausted and then getting pounded, you know, because that's when you lose a lot of air. I'm getting tired now. This one was kind of scary because I was tired and it just this wall was coming. Oh, oh my God. Holy shit! That was... Holy shit! That was the craziest paddle out I've ever done. Holy My adrenaline's God. very high at this point. So much fun. What did you get me into? Oh. Okay, I need a minute. I was so tired after battling from there to here. Oh my God! You see it? Nothing to it. Yeah, right! You've done it once, you can do it. Oh. oh my god. That's honestly true. Okay. If you could do this, you could do it again. Go for it. Go for it. So much of it's just mental. Oh. My adrenaline's pretty high at this point, so I'm kind of shaky, breathing pretty if heavy. If you were not here, I would not be out here. But I'm okay. Ah. At least I made it. You did it. At least I made it. That's, I'm happy, okay? Today's an accomplishment. What? Today's an accomplishment just for getting out here. Tyler, you are an accomplishment. You are an accomplishment, Oak. Oh, I'm so high. My, my biggest fear was like getting my arms getting really tired and out of breath and then getting caught inside. Yeah. That just terrifies me. Yeah. I feel like the Go for it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go, Dolly. Oh. Ah, uh, she didn't make it. <laughs> I love that my friends yeah. are just charging these waves, though. I mean, we all basically are really new to surfing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he almost caught that. I would have been fine, but I'm still learning to kind of read the waves out here. And uh, every every break is its own 
own different beast, you know? Oh my God. I found that at Santa Monica, it has to look like it's basically going to break on top of you to be catchable. Oh no. <sighs> you, you're probably immune. They're so perfect that they got to die here to battle. Oh. oh. Come on. But I like you need to try one. They're so big. No, they're not. They're just too They're so big. big. I'm shaking right now, literally. Oh, this way is coming. I'm on the right. <laughs> Literally shaking. No way. No way. <laughs> okay, so I'm definitely too scared to try and go for one, but I start getting more comfortable out there. Oh, that wouldn't. That one would have been good. I should have caught that one. I can't believe he went for that. For what? He went for that huge wave. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> what do you got here? I'm oh, still no. pretty shook by these waves, but I think it's fair to say I'm doing better. Alright, so now I start going for him, which is awesome. That was pretty close. That was the closest one I got to actually making it, but didn't time it right. Uh oh. I think Oak catches this one. He got it! No way! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Very stoked for him. Caught that. I think Natalie catches this one. Oh no, I think I go for it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, she catches this one. Oh my god. I wish you could see her because go, it was Natalie. a good sized wave. Oh. By the way, you have to cheer for your friends if they catch a wave, all right? That's the rule. She got it? No way. It looks really awesome. No way. <laughs> I got this one. Okay, so now I'm saying, like, I got this one. I'm really going for it. My mindset's completely changed at this point. I'm no longer terrified by these waves. Now, my only regret was not catching one. Uh, but you got out. Yeah, I did. If you want to come here tomorrow, it's going to be bigger. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm heading in. Everybody decided to head in. We kind of had enough. And uh, <laughs> I got hit by a closeout. And you know what? It wasn't that bad. It was a lot less bad than I expected. So, yeah, I give my friends the thumbs up, like, I'm okay. <laughs> the only thing that I'm not used to is all the white water. You know, I'm not used to all the white water and the lack of control that you have. So, um, you know, it's just something to kind of think about. But overall, I'm super stoked. So. There you have it. Uh, I'm going to go on the beach and celebrate with my friends now after I get out of here. And uh, I am just stoked. I am, I am super, super stoked. Super proud of myself. It, it's just progression. You know, you have to progress at everything. So uh, for me, this was the first paddling out into waves like these in these kind of conditions.
Oh my god. I'm gonna drop my board. Did you see me get hit by that clothes out at the end? Oh no. Oh no. That was fine. That was good. I did. I'm so glad you went out. Hey. You guys some of the biggest things possible. You guys, thank you. Thank you. I could not I literally could not have done it without you guys. That was so intimidating. Alright, thanks for watching guys. And uh see you out there.